Hey everybody, it's Matt here. I've got here the official Raspberry Pi touchscreen. Uh, I've been using it all week, it's fantastic. Um, and one of the things I've been working on with it is using Kivi, or Kivi, the uh, Python user interface and graphical toolkit. Um, what you're seeing here, of course, is the touchscreen. And then here I wired up onto a breadboard a couple different uh, components connected to the GPIO pin. So here's just a button for input and output, uh, a little piezo buzzer, and then I've got two LEDs. So I'm gonna launch the demo that I made in Kivi. All this code is going to be available online in, on GitHub, so you can check out this, this short example that combines GPIO and uh, using the Raspberry Pi touchscreen. There's also a full how-to of getting Kiwi installed uh, onto the Raspberry Pi so that it takes advantage of all the functionality of the touchscreen. So immediately, you probably notice we've got a blinking LED. I've got a timer in the background that's flashing that. Um, input works great. It just hit the red button there, and you'll see that button lights up on screen. Of course, that can trigger whatever you want. Um, I can toggle the other LED to turn on and off. Just hit that. Turns the red LED on, turn it off. Uh, and then of course the beep output, little momentary output there. So they've got a toggle and then a momentary. Got a slider over here. Uh, Multi-touch works great. Dragging, dropping, pinching, all of that works great. And there's a lot of great uh, ways in Kivi that you can take advantage of that with this touch screen. Um, I've got this slider connected to the timing of the flashing of this LED. So if I just do a little bit of um, dialing up here and I can change the speed of the flash of the LED by bringing it all the way up to the top and back down. So it's a, Kivi's a fantastic toolkit. It works really, really great with this screen. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna expect that a lot of people are gonna do some really, really cool stuff with the official Raspberry Pi touchscreen and this fantastic library and combine it all together with GPIO and all the other amazing Python libraries out there. So I'll make this code available if you wanna check out how I'm doing what in here. It's not perfect, and, uh, but uh, you can check it out and see how I uh, made this happen. Bye.